Hi, I'm June Miller. Welcome to the workout. You're going to love this workout because we're going to combine lower body and upper body together for each exercise. I'll build them separately and then I'll put them together. And that means you're going to use your core. And whenever you use your core, it's an extra oomph for the exercise. Also, helps with your posture, makes you stronger, and the everyday tasks of living become easier. During the workout, I'm going to ask you to pay special attention to your alignment and technique. So make sure you watch the video all the way through at least once before performing the workout. And during the push-up section, Donna's going to show you an alternative exercise, chest flies during the push-ups, just in case you haven't worked up to push-ups yet. A couple of things to remember during the workout. Plenty of clearance around your exercise space. You want to drink water before, during, and after your workout. These exercise sessions come in about 10-minute segments. So you can do the warm-up in segment A, the warm-up segment A and B, or the warm-up A, B, and C. But remember, always do the cool down no matter how long your workout session is. I want you to have fun and I want you to sp pay special attention to your alignment and technique during the workout. But if you need to take a break, please breathe in and out and keep moving during the break. The thing that we're going to do that's different in this workout is we're going to keep track of our caloric expenditure with our activity computer. That means every now and then at the end of the session, we're going to post how many calories we've burned during that exercise session. And you're also going to know how long the rep load is and when you're going to get there. So we'll let you know when you get into the end of the set. So if you're ready, get your exercise equipment ready. Take a look at this. Before we get started, here's a few equipment options you need to know about. If you're using the barbell, it'll come with the bar itself, four discs, and two clamps. You'll have a larger disc and a smaller disc. Large discs go on first. Slide them on the bar until they come into place. Then, if you're loading the smaller disc, make sure it's snug up against the larger disc and place the collar against it and snap into place. Once you hear the collar snap into place, you know it's secure. Check both ends of your barbell before you start the workout. And remember, during the workout, you can use the larger disc for some of the exercises, both discs for the harder exercises, and the smaller disc for the smaller muscle groups. Okay, let's have a great workout. Come on. Okay guys, we're gonna march on the right foot. Here we go. Bring him out, take a deep breath, inhale up. Shrug those shoulders, push them down and back. One more time, shrug them, down and back. We're gonna do a squat, push back, take it down. Push, bring it up. Now reach overhead, come up on your toes, way up. Nice job, let's go a little faster, ready? Squat, up, reach up, on your toes, good. Do it again, squat, reach. You got two more for me? Right here, squat, reach it up. One more time. Right here. Now you're going to step a little wider. Right foot, left foot. Right. Bring it out to the side and give me those figure eight arms. Four, three, two. Now you're going to reach over here and hold. Hold it. Nice stretch here. Bring it down and around. Other side. Hold it over to one side. This toe points out a little bit. Bring it down and around. Bring your hands here. Give me a low back stretch. Push down, then round up. Do it again. Push down. Then round up. I'll turn to the side so you can see that. Push your belly down. Round up. One more time. Push your belly down. We're going to punch right, left for five. Then give me a big circle. Five, four, three, two. Big circle. Left, right. Five, four, three, two. Big circle. Two more times. Right. Three, two. Big circle. Last time. Five, four, three, two. Big circle. Come on down. Look over that right shoulder. Sink down. Ah, that's a nice rotary stretch right here for your middle muscles. Good. Other side. Look over that left shoulder. Take a deep breath. Step back with that left foot and you're going to curl under and release. Do it again. I'll turn so you can see it. It's a hip flexor dynamic stretch. That means it's a moving stretch. Good. One more time. Hold it. Open those arms. Beautiful. Reach back behind, put your hands on your haunches, cinch that back foot up, sit into that hamstring stretch, lift up, push down, hips back, lift up, push down, lift up, bring it out to the side, figure eight, right there, good. Four more, four, three, 
to. Hold it right here. Reach over. Nice job. Reach over here. Good. Again, come on down. Look over that left shoulder. Twist that torso. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. Look over that right shoulder. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Left foot in front, right foot back. You're going to lift those arms out and come down into that lunge. This is what it looks like, guys. Left foot is in front. Abs are pulled in. Good. Hip flexor stretch. Hold it right there. Nice. You're going to sit back. You're going to come down into that hamstring stretch. Good. And you're going to come back up. You're going to do that again. Ready? Sit back. And come back up. Good. Let's march it out right foot. Okay, guys, we're ready for the workout. So load your bar with your heavy weight, get a drink of water, and come right back. Okay, guys, ready for the first exercise? Make sure your small weights are over here on your towel or your mat. You've got your large weights loaded on your bar. And we're going to start with an overhead press. You're going to bend over, pick up the bar. You're going to put one foot in front of the other in a staggered position. Clean the bar to your shoulders. Make sure your hands are shoulder distance apart. We're going to push up two, down two. Up two, and down two. Nice job. Abs are pulled in. Hips are slightly tucked under. You're going to watch that bar pass right in front of your face. It's slightly forward, not directly overhead. And as you push up, make sure you extend through the arms, but don't lock them out at the elbows. Nice job. Relax the back of your neck. You got six more. Six. There you go. Keep going. Five. How we doing? You got four? That's it. Keep your belly pulled in. Keep your hips tucked under. Keep that chest open. Let me have two more. There you go. One more. Nice. Bring the bar to your collar. You're going to go into a plie position. We're going to do some plie squats. Legs wide. Toes turned out. Let the bar rest here. Give me three little presses. Three, two, one. Come about two-thirds of the way up. There you go. Good. Give me two more like that. Nice. Hold this one down right here. Hold it. Now take your bar, place it down, bend over, put it on the ground. Bring your thumbs to your chest. Go back to those plies. Three, two, one. Come on up. Now what I want you to do is squeeze through your glutes. You understand? So when you come up, you want to Squeeze those glutes together. Those are the buttock muscles, big strong muscles behind you. You know where they are, don't you? <laughs> Good. Again, three. Now, you're just going to give me singles right here. Down and up. Now, when you come up, because you're squeezing those glutes together, you're drawing those heels in toward as if you're scrunching the rug together in the middle. Good. Nice job. Breathe, breathe. You got six more. Here's down. Here's five. Squeeze it, keep the chest open, shoulders back. Nice, can I have two more? Last one. Oh yeah, toes straight ahead. Pick up your bar, you're gonna put it all together right here, ready? Push, push, that's it. Nice job guys, keep going. Breathe, beautiful, that's it. We're gonna slow this down, slow it down. Up two, and down two. Up two. Nice. I'll turn so you can see that. Keep those knees turned out. Abs in. Squeeze those glutes. Slow that down. Four counts up. Four. Three. Two. This is really the test here. Relax the back of your neck. Breathe. Blow out on the hard part. Nice. And bring it on down. This is a real challenge here. Super slow. Eight counts. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two. If you're shaking, you're doing it right. Come on back down. You're almost there. You're almost there. Don't be in a hurry. There you go. Bring your toes forward. Step in. Bring that bar down. Put it on the ground, and you're going to shake it out right here. Breathe, breathe. All righty. Stay right there. Good. You're going to take one leg back and one leg forward. And this is going to be a lunge. You're going to tilt the pelvic bowl under and come back up. Looks like this. Tilt the pelvic bowl under, come back up. And you see how the hands are coming forward when you do that? Do it with me. You ready? Make sure you have the front and the back leg pretty far apart. 
You want to make sure you have good distance between the back of the front heel and the toe of the back leg. Nice job, guys. Do it again. Now, if you can go a little lower, do it, but be careful that that front knee stays centered over the front of that foot. Here's five. Keep that chest open. Keep your belly pulled in. You almost lean over in terms of your glance, like you're looking over the hedge of your neighbor's yard. <laughs> Good. Give me two more. Two more. That's it. One more time. Beautiful. Now step forward. Pick up your bar. You're going to do some bicep curls right here. Feet together, about hip distance apart. Bicep curl. Up two, down two. Up two, down two. Now we're doing a rep load of about 14 here. Keep your elbows close to the side of your body. Knees bent, abs in, pelvic fold tucked under. Good. Stay with that. Nice job. Get 10 more. Good. You're doing it. Doing well. There's a point in an exercise where you might come up too high or you might just waste some motion. So at the top of this movement, when you feel the tension, you're there. Okay? Nice. Beautiful. Keep it going. That's it. Oh, let's go for a little higher rep. Give me two more. Last one, best one, right here. Good. Now, you're going to put your bar down, take your left leg in front, and you're going to give me lunges with lateral raises. Looks like this. There you go. Right there, just lateral raise. Just like you did on the first side, I'll turn so you can see me. One leg behind the other. Good. Now, instead of lateral raises, we're going to do pullovers. Underhand grip. Look, arms go up and back down. Up and down. This is a really nice one. And it includes the core. Beautiful job. Breathe. That's it. How about six more? Six. Nice and tight through the belly. Hips tucked under, elbows lifting, coming up about the temple, and then back down. Make sure you don't arch at the top here. Don't want to arch there. Okay, keep, keep those belly muscles nice and engaged. One more time. There you go. Hold it. Nice. Step forward. Pick up your bar. You're going to do those pullovers, but you're really going to come down here. Hands close together. Start small. Here. And then back down. Good. Here. A little higher. Nice. Make sure that you don't arch in this position. I don't want you to arch your back at the top of the movement. Keep your hips tucked under. So you might want to pronounce that little hip tuck at the top of the movement. There you go. Elbows stay close. Don't let them flail out. You want to stay parallel. Nice. How are you doing? All right. Let me have two more of these. One more. One more. There you go. And bring that bar down. Right leg in front. Hands on the bar. Let the bar rest. You're going to bicep curl and lunge. Right here. Curl. And down. Good. Curl. So now you're putting the two initial moves together. I'll turn so you can see me. The back heel is lifted. The abs are pulled in. Beautiful. We're going to slow this rep down to four counts. Right here. Four. Three. Two. One. And then right back down. Nice. Do it again. Four, three, two. Keep that middle nice and strong and straight and lined up between those legs. Eight counts, super slow. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five. Don't be in a hurry. Four, three, two. Nice job. Come on back down. Woohoo! Good. Step forward. You're just going to shrug. Little shrugs right there. Breathe. That's it. Two more. You're going to put the left leg in front and the right leg back. I'll turn this way. Hands a little more narrow. Pullovers. Down two. Right here. Now at first, when you're doing this pullover with a lunge, it's kind of demanding so you don't have to go so far back behind your head. There you go. Abs in. We're going to slow this down. Keep that knee over that foot in front. Four, three, two, one. The elbows come up just in front of the temples. Or if you're very flexible, they can align just to the side of those temples. That's it. How about eight? Super slow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. 
Good. Come on back up. How y'all doing? Four more. Nice. Step forward. Shake it out. Bring those hands wide on your bar. Let that bar rest on your hips. All right, guys. I want you to go get a drink of water. When you come back, we're going to continue with this workout. Okay guys, we're gonna continue this workout with just the discs, just the weights. So put your bar down, okay, and step back and just get your weights. We're gonna start here with our feet about dollar bill apart, and we're gonna rotate. We're gonna open the shoulders and then close them. Just open here, so it's a bent arm rotation. Now on this exercise, you pull your abs in and sit into your air chair. <laughs> That's it, right there, pull. Nice. When you rotate here, don't force the rotation back. Just open the arms up where you feel comfortable. Good. Sit back into those hips. Give me six more. Here's six. That's it. Five. Can I have four more? Here's three. Two more. Last one. Nice job. All right. Just relax for a second. You're going to tap out to the right and tap out to the left. Tap. Good. Tap. Now what I want you to do is tap a little wider and come to the middle as if you're gonna do a squat, okay? In two more, you're gonna squat down and do a side leg lift. You ready, here we go. Squat, lift, there it is, right there. Squat, lift. So you're just redistributing your balance onto one leg. But what I want you to do is squat all the way down and lift all the way up in one smooth move. Ready? Squat, lift, squat. Lift, squat, lift. So it's a little bit more of a narrow squat. Now, next time you come up, you're gonna raise your arms out to the side, right here. Out, good. Squat, lift, nice job. Squat, lift, squat, lift. Let's go a little faster. Squat, lift, there you go, nice job. Sit back into those hips, elbows stay bent, chest stays lifted. I'll turn so you can see it, right there. Nice, can I have six more? Six, here's five, four more. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Two more like that, last one. Now just squat and hold right here. Squat, two, one, open up, do it again. Squat, two, one, open up, squat. Now this is going to start to take your heart rate up because you've got a lot of things working together at once. you got your legs and your arms working at once. Now bring the weights back behind you. Three, two, one. Bring them in front. What you're going to do instead of bringing them in front is in two more, you're going to bring them out to the side and all the way up. Here's what it looks like. Watch. Go way up to your toes. Let's go. Three, two, one. Raise it up. Three, two. This is a jumper squat, so you sit back into it as if you're going to jump, and then come on up. Good. Six more. Lift it. Nice. Here's five. Keep that chest lifted. Four more. Not a way to work. Here's three. Sit into those heels. Keep your abs in. Two more. That's it. Last one. Nice. Bring it back, roll those shoulders. Drop your chin, take deep breath. Exhale, good, one more time, inhale. Exhale, good. Feet, shake it out, okay? You're gonna take your left leg back, you're gonna do a bent over row, lift your leg and your arms together. Here we go, bent, lift your leg and your arms together, bring it down and lift it up. I'll turn for you. Bend, lift, release, and bring it up. Now pull your arms a little further back. Lift, release, and bring it up. Do it again. Take it down, lift, there you go. We're gonna slow this down right here. Four, three, two, one. Now slow lift, elbow still bent. 
bring it down. Lift it up. Oh, let's do three more like that. Four, four, three, two. Lift that leg behind you. Bend your elbows. Get your arms up. Bring it down slow. Abs are in. Bring it up. Nice. Rear muscles are working. Do it again. Breathe. Lift it all up. There you go. Bring it back down. And up. Nice. You got another one? Take it down. Four, three, two. Take it up. Hold it right there. Bring it down slow. Lift it up. Good. Shake it out right there. Shake it out with your hips. That's it. Look down, just side to side. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Back to the jumper squats. You're going to reach back. Ready? Reach. Reach. Okay? Turn this way. Okay? I want you to come up onto your toes. Jump. Turn your plate. Jump. Palms down. Those fingers can be laced through that hole any way you want. I've got my two middle fingers. That's it. Next time you come up, you're going to come up on your toes and hold. Ready? Come up, hold. Watch. I'm going to bring my arms out, then in. Everybody come down. Ready? Here we go. Hold it. Bring your arms out. Bring them in. Come on down. Do it again. Take it up. Stay up. <laughs> bring your arms out. Bring them in. Lower down. Good. Keep going. Up. Open up. Bring them down. Pull them in. Good. Lift them up. Take those arms out. Take them in. Bring them down. Let's do six fast. Up. Pull. In. Down. Lift. That's it. You're on those toes. Four more. Up. Open. Little balance act here. That's it. Can I get two more? Lift. Last one. Nice. And relax. Roll those shoulders. Good job. Breathe. 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 Nice. Okay. You remember you had this hip hinge before that opened up like this with the right foot in front. Okay? We're going to put the left foot in front. We're going to do that same hip hinge. You're going to bend, open, close, and stand up. You ready? Here we go. You're going to bend, open, close and come on up. Do it again. You're going to bend, open, close, stand up. Nice job. Keep going. Now remember, pitch your chest out. Keep your abs in. Elbows bent on this and come on up. These are all the rear muscles, the back muscles, the middle and upper shoulder. Good. Nice. Let's go a little slower. Four, three, two, now lift it up slow. Keep those elbows bent. Really squeeze those back muscles together. Come down slow. And come on back up. You've got three more. Keep the base leg bent. Four, three, two. Open it up right there. Good. Come on down slow. Slow. And lift it up. You got two more. Bring them a little bit forward with those arms. Abs are in. Chest is open. Stabilizing leg. You really want to grab with your toes down into that ground. You really want to make sure those arms lift high enough. Don't use the back. Use the butt and the shoulder muscles. Last one. Breathe. Right here. Lift it. There you go. Squeeze it. Bring it back down. Lift it up. Nice job. Shake it out. Take your little weights. Put them back right there. You're going to pick up your bar. Your bar is pretty close. Grip hand position right here. And you're just going to pull to your chest. Up. Good. That's it. Up. Nice. And bring your feet together. Good. What you're going to do is do these little upright rows just to your chest. Right heel out. You're going to sit back into a quarter dip. Okay, right here. Sit back into that quarter dip. Nice. We're just finishing up the little upright row, pushing back into the hip. 
Nice job, guys. Let me have six, five, four more, three, two, one, and that's all you have. <laughs> five. That's it. Good. Four more. Nice. Can I have three? Beautiful. Give me two. Last one here. And rest for just a second. You're going to switch feet. Take your hands a little wider. Other leg out. You're going to do a front shoulder raise and sit back into that quarter dip. Ready? Here we go. Front shoulder raise. Sit back into the hip and the butt muscle of the opposite leg. There you go. Keep that chest lifted. And when you bring those arms up, if you bend a little more at the elbows, you might feel a little bit better about it. Six. Nice. And you can always do one without the weights raising. You could also do one with just the weight sitting on the legs. Good job. <laughs> Have you got two more? Sit back. Last one. Good. Now you're going to place that bar down on the ground. Take those legs apart. Hold it right here. I'm going to check see how many calories I burn. Ooh, that was a good one. Look over that right shoulder. Oh, yeah. Switch. Look over that left shoulder. Good. Go get a drink of water. Come right back. We're going to finish up. Okay, guys. For this last session, I've changed the configuration of the bar. I've taken both my heavy weights and loaded them on one side right there. See it? Okay. Now, on the other side, I've loaded my lighter weights. See that? Make sure that when you've loaded your weights, you make sure that the clip snaps in tight and it's secure. Then I'm going to take my towel and move it to one end. I'm going to take my lighter weight end, place it on the towel just so you have some protection for your floor. If you're working on a carpet, it won't matter. Okay? You're going to come here and you're going to start in a lunge position, a leaning lunge position. Turn to the side so you can see me a little bit better. Okay? Make sure the bar is close into your body. You're in this leaning lunge position and you're going to row the weight and lower it down. Ready? Row and lower. Good. Row. Now you're going to start to come up with your leg, pushing into the floor. You're going to start to lift out of that. Nice. So you got these two moves together. It's very functional, as if you were picking something up off the floor. Okay? But instead of just picking it up off the floor, we're going to put it in the closet. <laughs> so we're going to pick it up, shift, put it in the closet on the shelf, either one. Come to your lunge, put it on the shelf. Push into your lunge. Now see if you can take this hand away. Push it and press. Good. Push and press. How you doing? Push and press. Nice job. Push and press. Now see if you can grab with both arms. Push. Down. Push. Abs tight. Down. Push. Last one, finish up right here, hold it. Now watch, you're gonna circle it to the front, circle it to the side, circle to the front, circle to the side. Abs are in, knees are out, toes are pointed out. We're getting ready to stir the pot. <laughs> Got a little witch's brew right here. Stir the pot, stir the pot. That's it, tighten up that middle, tighten the core. Get a nice bonus core section coming up, so don't use up all your core in this move. <laughs> Six more. We're almost ready for you, you little pretty. <laughs> Keep going. That's it. Two more. It's not funny. One more. <laughs> Hold it right there. Bring it to the center. Good. Now you're going to push away. Easy. Stretch back. Push those hips down, back, and away from your heels. Then you're going to come on up. You're going to change sides, so step in little by little. Bring this bar over here. Make sure the middle is on your towel. Low weights at this end. Come on into the side lunge. It's a leaning lunge. Hand here, start with your row. Row, release, row. Keep that elbow close to your body. Keep going, row. Nice. That's it. Abs are nice and tight. Now you're going to start to move and push into the heel. Kind of raise up out of that lunge. Raise up a little bit. Nice job. Good. Keeping that elbow pulling back 
and up at the same time. You want to try to maintain, okay, a nice control because you're going to get ready to put this in the closet. You ready? Here we go. Put it in the closet, bring it back down. This is where you really have to tighten the core and you're kind of moving from a forward side lunge into a plie lunge. There you go. Good. Both hands, lace them, pull. But first, get this arm out. <laughs> One arm out and pull. Good. So now you've got to brace yourself with your middle muscles. Brace yourself with your middle muscles. How about both arms? You ready? Here we go. Pull. Nice. Again, pull. Beautiful. Stay with it. Pull. Again. Pull. Next time you go up, stay up. Stay up. Circle. Bring it in. Bring it out. Now, move yourself into more of a plie squat. You can rearrange your bar anytime. Move the end wherever you need it. Stir that pot. Ready? Stir it. Abs in tight. Good. When you push the bar away, pull that belly in. This is that which is pro. <laughs> Six more. Six. Couldn't resist. Five. Four. I'm gonna be old. I wanna be nasty. Two more. <laughs> Last one. Hold it right there. Good. Move that bar to that center. Push away. Stretch back. Turn your toes slightly and bend your knees and walk your feet toe heel into where you feel comfortable. Press back, drop that head. You let that head rest against the bar. That's okay, don't push too hard. Good, and come on up slowly. Nice job. You're gonna take the bar, lift it just out of the way here. You're gonna take your towel or your mat, or if you're on a rug, you might only need a hand towel. You're gonna place it just here. I'm gonna come down to my knees on this bath mat. So make sure it doesn't slide on the floor. Come down one hand and then your knees. Place them about hip distance apart. You're gonna reach out onto the floor into a quadruped, that's hands and knees. Splay your fingers and make sure you're nice and secure. Now, you're gonna walk your hands out just a little bit. Make sure your bar's in front of you and you're not gonna hit it with your forehead when you come down to your push-ups. Abs are nice and tight. Come down slow, just a little. A little bit right there and back up. Now see how those push-ups work? Now, if you need an alternative, look at Donna. She's giving you some chest flies here. When I go down, she goes out. All right? That's all you got to remember. Let's slow it down. Let's go down for four. See if you can go a little deeper. Good. Now back up. Beautiful. Keep those abs in tight. If you're doing the fly, open your arms and then squeeze your chest as you push back up. Let's go a little lower now. Increasing that range of motion slowly and coming back up. Remember, it doesn't matter how far you go down as long as you can come back up. Keeping your knees to your hips, to your shoulders in one straight line. Nice job. Let's press back into that child's pose for just a second. And then come back to all fours. Turn your toes underneath you. You're going to lift into a bent leg down dog. Now that means you're going to push your chest back toward your ankles. Lift your tail. Abs are in. And if you feel like it, try to straighten your legs and get those ankles to flex so that the heels are pushing down toward the floor. Now come back to your knees. Let's do that push-up section again. You can continue to do these on your knees or follow Donna for the flies, or you can go to your feet and get into a plank. Let's go. Down. Three, two. Elbows still bend slightly back. Now you're going to go to your down dog, press back, you don't feel like doing the down dog here, you can go to that child's pose and come back to your plank. you got three more, nice and slow. Abs in, push back up, nice plank, belly tight. Press back into that downward dog or child's pose and come back. Remember if you're doing the flies, you're going just as slow as we are. Four counts down, good, and push back up. Abs tight, press back into that down dog chest toward your ankles, tailbone high. Come on back to that plank. This is your last one. Remember, you can stay on your knees. Last one, best one. You can split the difference if you like to part one way and part another way. And press back, way back. And come on down to those knees. Press into that child's pose and enjoy that. Take a deep breath. 
exhale. All right, guys, hang in there. We're getting ready to go to our cool down segment. And you can stick around for the bonus if you want. Calories, calories, calories. Oh, yeah, that felt good to stretch, didn't it? Just down there in that nice position. All right, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to bring our hands to one side and do sort of a side stretch, all right? Come on down here, reach over to one side, and then press back into that child's pose and stay there. You're going to feel the stretch through the lats here. Nice. Take one hand, reach, roll, and lift as high as you can. It won't be very much, but that's okay. Really good for shoulder mobility. And bring it back down. Now walk your hands to the other side. Press back, hold that stretch to this side. Roll your hand over. Reach, roll, and lift. Not very high. Stay there. And exhale back down. Good. Bring your hands back to the center. You're going to round it up. Bring your hands out a little bit. And bring it down. Good. Now bring it up. Round it up. Arch it down. Good. Round it up. Arch it. Two more. Round. Arch. One more time. Good. Now, roll back to your knees. And just for a moment, come up to your knees. I'm going to stand you back up. So we're going to take one foot in front, put both hands on your thighs, take one leg back, and just hold that position for just a second. Roll that pelvic bowl under, and you're getting a hip flexor stretch in that back leg. Bring your arms around in the opposite direction. Turn and look at that back arm if you can. Abs in. Good. Bring those hands back. Bring both feet to the front. Step back with the opposite leg. Take the hips under. Hold it. Good. Bring the arms out. Look at that opposite arm. Stretch. Stay there. Abs in. Feel that hip flexor stretch. Good. Bring the hands back to the front. Step forward. I'm going to ask you to roll up slowly all the way to a standing position. Now you're just going to move your towel out of the way. Take those legs apart. Lean into the right side. Stretch over and bring it around to the front. Turn that left foot out. Stretch over. Good. Two more times. Stretching and pointing the toe at the same time. And last time. Good. Walk your feet in, toe, heel, toe. Good. Now, if you can reach back and grab one leg, hold it. Pull those knees together. Stay there. That is a quadricep stretch. And release it. Step down. Other leg. Take a deep breath. Grab the laces of your shoe. Pull them back. Turn to the side so you can see me. Abs are in. Shoot your spider web, spider woman. <laughs> Good. Bring it down. Nice job. If you're ready to go into the bonus section for your abs, I am too. It's all about the core. We'll see you next time. Look at those calories burned. Oh my gosh. Keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. Stay well. Stay healthy. Okay, you guys, we're ready for the bonus section. This is the core exercises. I want you to think about all the muscles of the core working together in concert with each other. And to do these exercises correctly, I want you to think about pre-engagement. And that means you're gonna start to tighten the muscles of the core by engaging the hammock muscles at the bottom of the hip bowl, the pelvic floor muscles. And then, in turn, I want you to tilt the pelvic bowl under and think about bringing the hip bones toward the bottom of the rib cage. Each time you exert and engage when you tilt those pelvic bowls under what you get is the most benefit out of the exercise you want to exhale on the hard part and breathe continuously throughout the exercise we're going to start on our backs hands at our side donna's helping me today i want you to keep a neutral spine so that means when you lift your legs or when you engage in a certain 
in a certain movement pattern, always keep that back neutral in your best, most natural posture. Remember to tilt and engage those pelvic floor muscles. Are you ready? All right, knees up, Donna. This is reverse hip tilt. Ready, here we go. Three, two, one, and release. Now what you're doing here, guys, is you're pulling the knees toward your chest and you're thinking about lifting the hips off the mat. And if you can do that, that's great. But if you can't do it at first, don't worry about it. Because what I want you to really do is feel all the abdominals working together to pull those knees toward your chest and your hips up off the floor. Two, one. Nice job, Donna. Three, two. We've got six more to go, guys. We're doing a rep count of 14. Two, one. And you're using your hands to gently press down to the side of the mat. And that's going to give you a little bit of anchoring as you pull those knees toward your chest and try to think about lifting those hips slightly off the mat. As you get better and better at this exercise, you'll be able to straighten your legs and lift straight up and down. And relax. Thank you, Donna. That's our first set. Our second set, we're going to do a little bit more intensely. And what I want you to do is what I just said. You're going to start with your legs straight up in the air or as straight as you can manage, and you're going to lift high, higher, highest. It's going to feel awkward. It's going to feel a little jerky, but you can do it. All right, so your legs are going to start up. You're going to lift high, higher, highest. Let's go. Ready? High, higher, highest. And back down. Good. High. It's not pretty, but it works. Good job. High, higher, highest. Nice. And remember here that you've got the small of the back. Press down. The most important part about this exercise is that you're engaging those pelvic floor muscles and you're tilting that pelvic bowl under. Good. High, higher, highest. Nice job. Do it again. High, higher. Higher. So you got six more. Let's do it. Six. Higher. Higher. That's it. Breathe out on the hard part. Nice job, Donna. Get four. Not easy, but it works. Keep going. Beautiful. Two more right here. Little sweat beads are going to start to form <laughs> on your forehead. <laughs> there you go. And relax. All right. Pull your knees into your chest. If you like, wrap your arms around your leg and get a nice stretch here. All right. That's the first exercise in our core series. The thing that you really want to think about here, again, is your best natural posture. I want you to now go into a VC. Donna's going to turn around, face you, so you can see what's going on. Take your bath towel if you want to. You can place it under your bottom or not. If you've got a good uh, cushy mat, you don't need it. A V-sit simply starts like this. You're going to sit on your bones, sit bones nice and high, and you're going to lean back great right there, and you're just going to hold it. Let's count to seven. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and come on up and rest. Take it back. Hold it there. Six, five, four, three, two, and bring it up. Lay it back. Seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Chest lifted, abs in, shoulders back, pelvic floor engaged, and bring it up. Now rest there for a second. Now, the second set of this, I want you to go back and hold that V seat where you saw Donna hold it in that perfect posture. Chest out, shoulders back, abs in. She's going to go ahead and lift her legs off the ground and try to hold that for six seconds. You ready, Donna? All right, just your legs. Stay there. Ready? Seven, six. Stick your chest out. Pull your shoulders back. Three, two, drop it down. Good. Take it back. Six, five, four, three. Nice and tall. Two, one, and bring it down. Keep going. Six. Five, four, breathing hard here. Abs are nice and tight. Bring it down. Remember, keep that chest open, shoulders back, pelvic tilt slightly, pelvic floor engaged, and relax. Nice job. The third set is going to be leaning back, legs lifted. You're going to start with your arms up, and you're going to go one side and then the other. Do the best you can. It's a double knee pull with arms crossing to the opposite side. Ready, Donna? Arms up, lean back, lift your knees. Pull to one side. Pull and back up. Hold. Good. Other side. And you're just going to do about six or eight of these at your own speed. Now, the reason you don't worry about the music on this exercise is because balance has a lot to do with the success of this exercise. As you come back up each time and pull from side to side, balance is a key component. Find your balance, feel secure, and then start moving. Let's get two more, Donna. Nice. Kind of a double knee pull and tuck. Beautiful. And relax. And you can come forward there. You can butterfly your, your feet or your knees and just stretch in and lean forward. All right. So that's a nice VC double leg pull. The next thing we're going to do is a crunch with a backstroke. 
So you're gonna lay all the way down, okay? And you're gonna start with your hands over your head and you're gonna lift up. So you're gonna tighten your belly and you're gonna come up and sit up and then come back down. Now you won't be able to come up very high. One more time, Donna. You come up to about right there and back down. But now what I want you to do is extend your legs a little further, not all the way flat, but just your knees slightly soft and your heels dug in. You're gonna come up and sit all the way up. Beautiful job, Donna. And then come on back down slowly. Bring your arms over your head, hold it right there. Tighten your belly, engage your pelvic floor, and come on up. Four, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, reach over your head, come on up slow. Abs in, pull through the pelvic bowl, and come on down, stretch out and over your head. Get a couple more like that. Lean, pull, stretch, lift, and back down. Nice, tighten your belly muscles, engage, pre-engage. Remember to breathe out during the engagement, the hard part, and come on back down. All right, you're gonna come up about two-thirds of the way and you're gonna give me a backstroke to each side. You're gonna take one arm back in a backstroke, come back to the front, the other arm back in a backstroke, and then lower yourself back down. Arms go overhead. Let's do it again. Lift it up. Four, three, two. Give me that backstroke. One arm goes back and comes to the front. Then the other arm goes back and comes to the front. You're gonna hold it and lower back in a nice sit-up. Beautiful. Let's do two more like that, Donna. Take it up. Three, remember to breathe. Donna's really breathing here. It's hard to tell this far away, but really, breathing is a very big and important part of each exercise, and come on back down. Nice job. Again, take it up. Four, three, two, nice and tall in that saddle. And as you're stretching back, think about getting great range of motion here as you keep those pelvic floor muscles engaged, and come on back down. Let's get two more for grin. Take it up. Up, three, two, Good, backstroke, nice, big arm movements. Other side, nice and tall in your saddle, chest open, pelvic floor engaged, and lower back. You got one more for grins, Donna? Good, we're gonna just, one more bonus in the bonus section, right? One more, big arm stroke, good. And again, pelvic floor muscles engaged, arms in front, and lay back down. Nice job, Donna, pull your knees into your chest. Okay, guys, that was just a little core for you. And remember, core goes a long way. So do a little bit of core each exercise session that you do. And you'll get a lot more out of your middle when it's time for bathing suit season. See you next time. I'm Jen Miller. Keep up the good work.